he not ready. He, he don't know what to expect. And this is not the biggest fight of my life. This is the biggest fight of his life. Because he's got a lot on the line and he got everything to lose. I'm going to go in there and have fun. The fact that I'm even up here proves this shit is a simulation. None of it's real. The aliens are coming in June. Just be ready. Tomorrow, I break the fucking simulation and beat the greatest boxer in the history of the, pl of the planet. We want to know how do you do it. Some people giving you a puncher's chance. Some people giving you no chance. How do you upset the apple cart? I'm going to get it done. It's a fight. Anything can happen. Uh, Floyd's not ready. That's all I can say. Best of luck to you. Thank you, sir. Um, I've been here before, so I know what it takes. I fought every different style you could possibly fight. Height don't win fights. Weight don't win fights. Fighting wins fights at the end of the day. And I can fight. Some people think... Maybe you're looking for the knockout, revenge, got your head, all that ridiculousness. How does Sunday night end? Once again, I'm not worried about a hat. I don't worry about what nobody say. One thing I can do, I can fight. I've been at the top level for 25 years, so I know what it takes when it's a fight of this magnitude. Much respect, champ. Best of luck on Sunday. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh my God. Logan Paul weighs 34.5 pounds more than Floyd Money Mayweather. Fights tomorrow. Will weight play a factor? A lot of skeptics, but then there are some people that believe that this major weight differential between the two fighters could affect the older Floyd. What do you believe in? We're going to talk about this theory. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Listen, hit the subscribe button. What's in it for you? I dropped the illest boxing content on YouTube. We talk boxing, the sweet science, all things boxing, some UFC. This is your one-stop shop. Boxing news, points of views, live streams, fighter shape and weigh-ins. You know, we have a good time. The watch parties. Just hit the subscribe button. We work. Now, you heard some of the clips at the beginning. Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul, fighting tomorrow, exhibition. Knockouts are allowed. And Floyd Mayweather, as you see on the screen, he weighed in at 155, which is a career high for him, if I'm not mistaken. Um, even though he's fought guys at 154, he usually comes in light or like the 140s it was like he was weighing in pretty much as a welterweight even at 154 logan paul weighed 189.5 now the contract stipulated that logan paul was unable to weigh more than 190 pounds and you can see logan paul the bigger person he pushed it so he had to come within like half a pound of um the limit meanwhile floyd could have came all the way up to 160 but chose to stay light and came five pounds under the max 160 that he was able to weigh now i want to make this quick video what do you believe in do you think logan paul has a chance mayweather versus paul tomorrow showtime pay-per-view there were a lot of people that tuned into the weigh-in you can see the numbers i did a video about the numbers check that on the channel and varying opinions logan paul said this isn't the biggest fight of his life i'm not really sure what he's talking about um, I don't know if he, I don't really know all of Logan Paul's life stories, so I don't know if he went through other traumatic events and he's saying there are other bigger fights that he had, a sickness or something. But as far as his fight career, this is definitely the biggest fight of his career. I don't know if he really believed what he was saying. He said, this is a big fight for Floyd, but not for me. And I want to talk about the weight. A lot of people are just saying, oh, Floyd is too small and he's 44 years old. But then there are some that say Mayweather's the GOAT, TBE. There's no way he's going to lose to a person like Logan Paul. There's too high a skill deficit. It's a bridge too far. And it's a mountain that Logan Paul can't climb. So I think it's interesting. It's an event for sure. A lot of people tuned in. And I think Logan Paul and his brother, Jake Paul, they've done a good job as influencers. Just the fact that we live in such a social, a social media era in a microwave generation where you can even manipulate and get people to even believe you like we've seen this with conor mcgregor even though he was a ufc fighter at least he was a a, a fighter been fighting all of his life he was bigger than floyd had power 
Logan Paul, me personally, you already know who I'm picking in this fight, Mayweather. Um, you know, he lost to KSI, but for whatever reason, you know, when you have the gift of gab, sometimes people believe you. We have to see what tricks Logan Paul has in his, his sleeve. Some people believe that, you know, Floyd could have bought bit off more than he could chew. Just when you see how crazy it looks, like Logan Paul looks huge, like he's auditioning for uh, uh, Captain America Thor movie or something. And he looks like he's in crazy shape. But just like Floyd said, muscles don't win fights. Fighting wins fights. And at the end of the day, I think that's the reality of it. And Mayweather, I don't think he would put himself in a position if he wasn't comfortable or used to fighting bigger people. I've heard stories. I don't know how big the people he sparred are, but I've heard many stories of him fighting bigger guys, middleweight, super middleweight weights and stuff. And this is what he's been doing. This He's been boxing all his life. Um, I think it'll get bad the longer it goes. Floyd Mayweather might try to tire him out, kind of like he did with Conor McGregor. And you have to understand, most fighters or people who try to fight, especially if you haven't been fighting all your life, the pacing is crazy. Why do you think when an amateur, no matter how great the amateur was, when they turn pro, they start them off with like four rounders, then maybe go to six, then maybe go to eight, and then when they work, 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 then they work to maybe a championship 10 round, 12 round fight, something like that. These guys that are influencers that are just jumping, you have to understand the boxing cardio is crazy. I know people who play all sports, football, basketball, weightlift, and they exercise pretty much for a living. And they said there's no workout that's harder than a boxing workout. So I don't see how Logan Paul is going to go eight rounds with Floyd Mayweather. The cardio needed just for that, when your arms start getting tired, um, muscles need to be oxygenated. So you have to you, you have to carry all that weight. And if you're chasing Floyd, you know, moving, don't know what you're doing. Plus you have nerves and get embarrassed. Plus Floyd's gonna be subtly at least pot shotting and jabbing to the solar plexus. I think you're gonna end up folding up because that pacing is just gonna be rugged. And then when Floyd gets you where he wants you, I think he's gonna pour it on and then make that statement. But some people feel the 34.5 pounds, which is ridiculous to see, that they feel like um, that could be Floyd's undoing and Logan Paul can land something big and all that. So we'll see how it all plays out. Definitely an event. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if you think almost a 40 pound weight advantage will give him. I think just basically if size matters, but it matters to a, like, to a degree, like if you have similar or equivalent skill, then the size will matter. Like if you're like Arthur Better be of or something, and you have a weight and height advantage, and we know you're a proficient puncher at 175, then a guy coming up from wealth to weight or 50s, that would be different because it's like all he has to do is land one surgical technical shot, and then you know he's used to stopping guys that weigh 175. But we'll see, you know, we'll see for someone who hasn't fought their whole life. We'll see how it all plays out. Tune in tomorrow. We'll do the Boxing Eagle Watch Party. Subscribe to the channel. Use my link in the description to get TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is an awesome way to level up your YouTube content. It's a browser extension that you can add on. In turn, making you more money by optimizing your content. Use my link, TubeBuddy. As always, let me know how I did in this video. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, Ego signing off.